Now to the presidential race, six weeks until Election Day, and the campaign blitz continues. Vice President Kamala Harris on the trail in the battlegrounds of Georgia and Wisconsin today. Meantime, former President Trump addressing an anti-Semitism event last night in Washington, D.C., ahead of a busy weekend, including a stop on the North Carolina coast. Here's ABC's Perry Russell. Please welcome Kamala Harris! Vice President Kamala Harris leaning into the star power of Oprah with a highly produced campaign event in the style of the Oprah Winfrey Show. Harris with the rare moment answering questions directly from voters on issues including abortion rights. The former president chose three members of the United States Supreme Court with the intention that they would overdo the protections of Roe v. Wade. Mm -hmm. Talking gun violence, Harris once again saying she's a gun owner. If and somebody I thought that breaks was in my house, they're getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I, I, I hear that, I hear that. Probably should not have said that. Former President Trump in Washington, D.C. at an event on fighting anti-Semitism, saying he will be Jewish American's defender and protector. If we don't win this election, Israel, in my opinion, within a period of two to three years, will cease to exist. Today, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine pushing back on the Trump Vance ticket about Haitian migrants in Springfield. DeWine with a guest essay in the New York Times, writing he is saddened by how Trump and Vance continue to repeat claims that lack evidence about people who are in Springfield legally. DeWine, a supporter of Trump and Vance, says the rhetoric hurts the city and its people. DeWine says the Biden administration's failure to control the southern border is an important issue, and that's what Trump and Vance should be talking about. DeWine says they should not be verbally attacking Haitians who are here legally. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.